Ever since the release trailer for the Nintendo Switch back in October, details about the console have been sparse. Until today. At the press conference, Nintendo unveiled quite a bit of information about the Switch, including price, release date, and, of course, a full rundown of the games that will be available on the console. It was a six-course meal of a presentation satisfying almost every Nintendo craving that we've ever had. So let's dig in, shall we? Nintendo consoles have historically launched at some competitive prices, and the Switch will retail for $299.99. It's a little bit more expensive than what the PS4 and Xbox One are going for right now, but for a brand new console, it's a fairly reasonable price. And you'll have some time to save up, because the Switch will be launching in just a couple of months on March 3rd. Okay, we've seen the prices, we know the launch date, we finished our appetizers, and now it's time for the main course. Nintendo spent a lot of time during their presentation outlining the games that will be available for the Switch on launch day, as well as ones slated for release later this year. The first game that they officially announced is 1-2 Switch, a game that forgoes any screens in order to play and focuses on human-to-human -human interaction using the Joy-Con controller's motion controls in a variety of unique ways. Nintendo also announced ARMS, a boxing game that also uses the motion controls. Using your character's extendable arms, it will offer some crazy looking fights and some crazy fun as well. Splatoon 2, a proper sequel for the Wii U squid based shooter, was revealed, showing off new ink guns, stages, and special weapons. So get ready to be a squid all over again. It'll be arriving for the Switch later this summer. And Mario's back, in a city with real people? Wait, hold on, what's going on? It looks like Nintendo is going a little bit outside the box in Super Mario Odyssey, with Mario leaving the Mushroom Kingdom and going on a worldwide adventure. We're gonna have to wait a little while for this one though, as it will be coming to the Switch this holiday season. Nintendo also teased us with a short trailer for both Xenoblade Chronicles 2 and Fire Emblem Warriors, as well as some quick looks at a new Shin Megami Tensei game and Project Octopath Traveler, a new RPG by Square Enix. There were a few other games that they highlighted that didn't have any footage, such as FIFA and a new game in the No More Heroes series, but hold on to your horses because Nintendo finally revealed the release date of their big one. Yep, I'm talking about The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And they have confirmed that it will in fact release alongside the Switch on March 3rd. And on to dessert. With most people's focus in the last couple of months being on the games and the price of the console, Nintendo revealed some pretty surprising features about the Switch during the presentation. We all know that we'll be able to take the Switch on the go, and Nintendo has confirmed that the battery life will be roughly between 2.5 to 6 hours. Not too shabby if you ask me. They've also announced its online plans for the console. In an interesting change for Nintendo, it will be a paid service, much like PSN and Xbox Live. And hey, there's also no region lock on the Switch, so we'll be able to play games from anywhere in the world on it. Nintendo also talked in detail about the Joy-Con controllers themselves, highlighting features that include a gyroscope, amiibo functions, color options, and what they're calling an HD rumble feature that will apparently be able to simulate multiple ice cubes in a glass at once? Okay... That's all they showed off during the presentation, but check out Nintendo's website for even more information on the console. They've got a rundown of the online services, controller prices, and a look at even more games like Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. So check that out and keep it tuned to GameSpot for all the latest Switch news.